bum 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 Hello lovely people on the internet, welcome to my channel Who's Little World and uh, today I be reviewing the latest uh, Inco Crate box it's, uh, this is the September box from Inco Crate it has six items in there they're supposed to contain six to eight items in each box one box is, if you subscribe to it, $24 a month and um, if you don't want to watch the whole uh, video to know whether it's worth your money or not I can cut it short I feel like it's not worth your money and for the details you have to keep on watching so let's um, see the first item this is a planner it's A5 it contains 30 sheets of weekly planner um, then you have the obviously the binder and also you get this PVC cover with a little bit glitter confetti in there just in the front the back it's all clear um, the quality is okay um, the cover does smell, it smells really plasticky and even after um, 24 hours after unpacking it. So yeah, the quality is not so good. And with this, this one I had to dig into the internet quite deep to find out the price. And what I found was rather disappointing. You get all these three items, the cover, the binder and the refill for 100 yen each without tax and tax is in Japan 10%. So for the whole thing you can get for 330 yen, which is like $3. So you can imagine how the quality is with this price. Um, next we have this notepad. There are two different designs and I actually counted how many sheets there are. There are 90 and um, this one the good thing with most of the stationery is you they actually print out the price for you so this one is 100 yen plus ta tax which is 10% so this one the whole notepad would be like uh, 110 yen which is about a dollar so next we've got these two items yes they count as two items um, these are sticker sets uh, one with a travel uh, a travel theme and one with a uh, food theme and they are each uh, they are made in Japan they are each 132 yen and this time the tax is also already included and that's about one dollar twenty five twenty four so this is a these. Quality wise, I feel like these um, they are masking seals, so they feel like washi tapes. So I really like that. These two I really like. And then we've got a washi tape. I already unpacked it. It's a flowery pattern from apparently some uh, famous Japanese illustrator. I've got the packaging here. So this one is 260 yen plus tax, so 286 yen, which is $2.70. And this is from the designs from Tomoko Hayashi. This is from the company MT, so they inv that's the pet company that invented washi tape. So last but not least, we have these mini joint stamp so this is a 
yeah, it has the size of a chapstick and uh, you can open them like that. So you have four different designs of stamp. They are printed out here and they look really small. They are actually this small. That's why it says mini joint stamp. So you might think, hmm, nice gadget, but this one is actually the most expensive item in this whole box. This one is 520 yen plus tax, so 572 yen, which is about $5.40. So these are all the items that are in the box. So as I have said in the beginning, one box is $25 a month. Shipping fee is not included. The shipping fee for me, which is from Japan to Germany, was uh, $10.95, I guess. And the overall value of these items is $14.72, which is not a good deal. You can get more for your money. If you want to know more about Japanese stationery boxes or other stationery boxes, I'm writing reviews about all the boxes I'm getting, so uh, make sure to check out my blog. And also, I think some of you might be interested because all the other things you can get, like a similar notepad, similar planner, similar washi tape or stickers, very cheaply on AliExpress or other shopping websites. But maybe, maybe you're like, yes, I need this joint stamp in my life very, very badly. So I went on the internet and found a website that sells them for $6.75 and they ship worldwide and I think if you um, buy more than $50 worth of stuff, shipping within the US is for free. So um, if this is what you want, go check them out. The link is down below in the description box and I hope I could help some fellow stationery lovers or who couldn't decide which Japanese stationery subscription box they want to get and save them some money and frustration. Don't go with the Inku Crate. Try out the Senpop box or the stationery selection box. They're all very good. I already reviewed them on my blog, so check that out if you want. And thank you for watching. See you soon. Done. Done. Done.